I'm Dr. Ken Lacovara in the Department of Biology, and we've got something really cool going on in our lab right now. I'm standing here in the new uh, fossil laboratory in the Papadakis Integrated Sciences Building at Drexel University, and uh, this is really a world-class facility that we have now for studying dinosaurs and other ancient uh, creatures. So I, I had the great opportunity to uh, be able to work with the architects as they were designing this laboratory. And here at Drexel and uh, in other laboratories uh, around the world, scientists are starting to use some of the latest technologies. And one of the things that we are beginning to use here at Drexel is uh, 3D laser scanning to capture the, the three-dimensional uh, structure of the bones and then 3D printing. So just a few years ago, a 3D scanner like this would have cost $30,000. Uh, now they're in the price range of thousands of dollars and you can see they've shrunk down to the size of a big cornflake box. The actual lasers are here and the lasers are uh, staggered so that they get parallax. They can, they can detect the distances of the objects uh, that they are hitting. And then these are two optical cameras um, that also take a stereoscopic image of the bone to get the texture of the bone. And so the lasers will create the 3D image and the, the traditional photographs then can be overlaid on that image uh, to make an actual, you know, an accurate uh, virtual model of the bone with the lights here. Well, when you collect the bones of those giant creatures, they're very hard to handle, they're very hard to manipulate. So it's physically impossible for us to get those to stack them one on top of each other, to manipulate them around, to see exactly how they articulate, to follow where the, the muscle insertions are so we can figure out how they move, to estimate how much cartilage would be in between the limbs. And so now with this 3D technology, we can do that in a, in a virtual laboratory. Uh, and then we can even print out those results and manipulate them by hand without you know, straining our backs or getting hernias. And so it's really this brave new world in paleontology that we're very excited about.